hello and welcome back so now in this video we will add animations to our player so for that if you open up the pbr military pack in here open up the first folder which is pbr underscore soldier and in here you will find these animations okay if you extend this uh, animation in here you will find these uh, animation files okay in all of them as you can see so now what we're going to do we will create a animator controller for our player character but first of all let me show you this that if you select this animation okay any of the animation and then if you check the uh, animation type in the rig menu it is generic and also if you check the soldier actually let us go inside the mesh as you can see this is the mesh and it is also generic okay so make sure that your character uh, animation type is generic as well we will not be using humanoid since this character is based on the generic animation type okay all of the animations and the character is generic but if you are using some other website then you can change your animation type and character type to humanoid okay that is okay as well okay so now in here what we're gonna do we will create a animator controller and let's name this as player then click on the player and drag and drop this in here okay so now it is added let's double click on it and in here you can find all of these after this if we click on parameters right here let's go ahead and create two parameters uh, for our uh, horizontal and vertical inputs so let's select this float right here and we will say horizontal then vertical after this right here we will create a new blend tree so in the create state you will have this option from new blend tree click it okay let's name this as player movement because in here we will be adding the animations for our player movement the idle walk and run okay if you double click on it in here now you can see this uh, horizontal value right here with the horizontal value we also need the vertical value in order to perform all of the animations in all of the directions okay for example if the player wants to move to the front and left side or the front and right side then in that direction we will be playing the same animation perfectly okay so uh, what we're gonna do right here we will uh, make this blend type as 2d freeform directional and now as you can see it requires two parameters so the first one will be horizontal the second one will be vertical like this okay now right here click on this plus sign and then click on add motion field we will add three motion fields the first one will be idle then walk then run okay make the position x as zero zero for all of them and the position y as well for now and let's find the animations so the first animation will be this one okay which is in the soldier at the red idle keyboard okay you can find it right here just simply open it up and drag and drop it I mean click on the blend tree and then drag and drop it in the first one then let's find the walk so the last animation is the walk animation as you can see okay so if you click on that then drag and drop walk in there then after this we need the run animation so you can find the run animation right here if we check it out this is the run animation so click on it and drag and drop it in there 
so now we can change the position y of this animation now so for the idle it will be zero because if the player is not pressing any button or if the player is using joystick and the player joystick is not moving then the uh, position y will be zero but then if the joystick is move uh, halfway up okay or you can say that if the player presses the w key okay then we want the player to walk so right here we will set uh, 0.5 or 0 0.5 okay and then when the player is uh, running okay or you can say the player presses the w and then hold down the shift key then uh, the player will run so we will set this to one okay and then the player will run okay or you can say if the joystick is fully up okay then the player will run okay so now if we play the animation and right here make the vertical value zero okay so that it show the slider now if we try to increase the slider as you can see when it becomes 0 0.5 the player start walking okay as you can see and when now we set this to one now as you can see the player is walking okay so now as you can see it is working perfectly fine okay now we need to play these animations using our script so if we go inside game then scripts then go inside player movement and in here create a new c sharp script by the name of animator manager then let's click on the player and right here let's try and drop this script now let's open this up and in here we will remove the start and update method and what we're going to do we will create a new method so we will say public void change animator values and this method will require two floors and the first one will be in order to control the horizontal uh, values okay or you can say the horizontal movement so let's name this as horizontal movement and then vertical so we will name this as vertical movement okay now before moving any further first of all we need to uh, get the horizontal and vertical values from the animator okay the parameters which we created and we need to set them to some uh, variable on this script okay so first of all we will be needing a reference to our animator so we will say animator okay let's name this as animator as well after this we will create a integer by the name of horizontal value then we will create another integer by the name of vertical value okay then after this inside the awake method we will now set the reference first of all the animator reference so animator will be equals to get component and we want to get the animator component and the reason we are doing it like this is because the animator component and the animator manager script are on the same player game object okay now you will be uh, saying that the parameters on our animator controllers are of type float and right here we make this of type integer okay so how are we gonna set that up let me show you how we will set that up we will first of all say horizontal value equals to animator dot string to hash 
I don't know why it is uh, giving me animator manager it is just animator okay and now we gonna get the horizontal value from the parameter then after this we need to get the vertical so now the vertical value will be equals to animator dot string to hash and right here we will type vertical all right now inside our change animator values method now now let's go ahead and do the things required for this method so first of all we need to set the um, horizontal values and vertical values to our animator parameters so we will say animator dot set float then we will first of all pass the horizontal value then the horizontal movement which is this float and then we will pass 0.1 f and then we will say time dot delta time right let us do the same for our vertical so we will first of all pass the vertical value then the vertical movement and that is it and also make sure that you spell your vertical value right here correctly okay or else it will give you an error so once you do this now let's get back to our input manager to call this function in the right place okay so first of all right here after this clear controls we will say animator manager let's name this as animator manager as well then right here in the awake method we will say animator manager equals to cat component we will get the animator manager and that is it okay then after this uh, right here create a private float by the name of movement amount okay and then in the handle uh, movement input what we're gonna do now we will uh, clamp the absolute of the horizontal input and the vertical input and set that equal to our move amount okay so we will say movement amount equals to mathf dot clamp okay so it will clamp it between 0 and 1 then let's get the absolute of the horizontal input plus the absolute of the vertical input okay and after this we will pass this movement amount value to our animator manager method we will say animator manager dot change animator values for the horizontal movement for now we will pass zero because when the game start and the player is not moving it should be zero and then after that we will pass the movement amount okay simple as that if we now save the game and get back right here let's play the game Okay. now as you can see the player is playing the idle animation now if you try to press the w key now as you can see the player starts walking and then running okay the player is instantly running but don't worry in our future videos we will be uh, 
only running when we press the shift button okay and when we press the w key we will be then just simply walking okay for now the animation is a little bit uh, faster and the running speed is slower because it is uh, playing the running animation on the movement speed okay if you try to incre increase the movement speed now as you can see it looks good okay but we will leave this as three okay and we will be adding sprinting to our game but don't worry about that we will be doing that in our upcoming videos okay but for now as you can see the player is uh, playing the animations perfectly fine as you can see the player also staff to the left and right side as well because we have a 2d blend tree okay we take the horizontal and vertical values both of them actually okay so that's why it is playing the animation perfectly fine in all of the directions in the next video we will be adding animation snipping in order to make the animations more accurate okay because uh, if you play the game using the controller then there might be some issues okay or if you, if some of you guys have some animations which are not uh, truly synced with each other okay then uh, it might uh, show you some issues when the player is changing from idle to walk and then to run okay so in that case in order to avoid all of that we will be adding animation snipping as well so with this done let's end this video right here